Well, a respiratory infection circulating in Savannah's dog community is leaving vets with many questions. Our Camille Sayan tells us about the illness causing many dogs to call out. Baxter is back to his energetic self, but just a few weeks ago, it was a dry cough uh, that didn't go away. Dr. John Shuttle at IVM says veterinarians across Savannah have been seeing patients with these symptoms anywhere from two to five times a week. They all start out the same, and that is just a little croupy cough, a little uh, uh, sort of something like that. Dr. Shuttle says they tested dogs like Baxter for every infection they could think of. Those tests came back negative. Dr. Shuttle says this mystery virus is similar to the kettle cough they've been seeing for decades. He says they started noticing the new virus last year and it has a longer recovery time. Most of his patients catch it from boarding facilities or daycare, but the dogs that don't go to any boarding facilities or kennels are still coming down with it. So it must be more infectious now. I think if you have an older dog or a dog that's prone to illness, I think I would not put them in boarding facilities or, or daycares at, for now. Vets have been treating it with antibiotics. He says dogs with the kennel cough vaccine typically have lighter symptoms. Dogs who aren't vaccinated are at a higher risk for pneumonia, which he says one in 10 dogs have been getting. If it kind of develops into a pneumonia, then they're going to start feeling sick. And that is they're going to get lethargic and not eating as well. Plus their cough is going to go from that croupy cough to a deeper sort of productive cough. And by that time, you definitely should be seeing a vet and you should be on antibiotics. And that This disease should be given some attention and we should, uh, somebody should do some testing on what this is. In the meantime, Dr. Shuttle and Baxter's owner asked pet owners to call their vets right away. And if your dog is coughing, don't send them around other dogs so it spreads more. That's a, a big tip. Dr. Shuttle believes the virus will slow down in the fall. Camille Syed, WTOC News.